I shall fling these face to face. I accept. Shuffle the cards once this way. Turn the packet over and shuffle them once this way. There should be no doubt in your mind, mind that those cards are really mixed up. Yes? The strange thing is that some are face up, some are face to face. I believe to be the only magician in the world uh, to be able to do that, not that way, but to remove this card, pull it through the deck, and look what happens. All the cards are one Very nice. Go, uh, why don't you leave it on and let it go right into showing it? Okay. Uh, huh? okay. I get a glowing red every now and then. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It should be all right. Now. Upon completion of the previous trick, is there throwing off play Joe away and say, Bob, and that's the greatest thing, or oh, and that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Thank you, thank you. And yeah. not calling attention to this. What you do, you push off two cards, square them up, maintain a break, very much like a double lift. Well, that's exactly what you're going to do. So you turn over the two cards, break a third of the deck, apply pressure with the left thumb, riding an extra card over, and quite casually turning the packet over. If you've done it the way I've prescribed, this is the condition of the cards. Holding a break, you then transfer it to the right hand. You cut half of the bottom packet, complete and complete. So the end result is that these cards are all face down with the exception of these, which is so. Right? Now, it makes no difference in the selection of the uh, packets. If they selected this one and this one, you take this one away, face up. This one you leave face down. This one you turn face up, and in placing it down, if you bear it down with your index finger, it's a safer way for the cards not separating. Right, pulling intact for this deck, your main concern is the top and bottom card, which are face up. Okay? Call reference to uh, this packet, which is face down. You spread them out. You shuffle first the bottom card from the right hand, shuffle the rest, and the top one last. Mm -hmm. Push them in, pick up the parcel of cards. You show this and you show that. Nothing has taken place because this is what you have. Right. Okay. Now you take the third packet, and again, top and bottom card of the right packet, and you show. Beautiful little piece of business. Since we have this, unbeknownst to the spectators, right? you say, I'm going to shuffle the cards once this way, turn the packet over completely, and once this way. That time you, you go your bottom one first, and then yeah, right. bottom from one always. side and the top. You're always concerned with the bottom and the top. Right, but, but once you have the full deck, you let the bottom go from one side to the top that, and the other, right? That's right. <laughs> okay, okay right. right. Now at this point, we're at this stage. So all I'm going to do now is cut this card to the bottom of the deck. So I get a break beneath that top card. I am the cut. I think you're familiar with a double cut, no? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to erase this card, adding it to the one on the bottom, immediately splitting the deck, showing cards face to face. Now you bring this to the bottom, turn it over. So I just transferred mm -hmm. from the bottom to the top. All that remains to be done, really, double lift, turn it over, spread them out, and they're all one way. Great. Great. That's a nice trick. It is. Great. If you have the conditions, you know, Karen. Look at it. Again, I ask you not to remember it. Okay. Place the card back. Okay. Make a shuffle. Mix. And a cut. Just to refresh your memory. Right. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is encase the cards in the card case. So. 
far enough so far? Mm-hmm. For the first time, name the card. It's right on there, nine. A nine, all right, five, six. Nine of diamonds, look. Mm -hmm. That is a cute one. Like this that. is very spectacular. That is. I like that. Shall I explain yeah. it? Yes. Oh, yes. Right, this is what, what has to be done. You take the case oh, yeah. and you slit it with a razor, mm -hmm. very plainly. Mm -hmm. Since this, this is on the table, it's very unsuspecting. No one would ever suspect. The card is selected, looked at, and brought to the top. Either this way, the card is on top. Then you do the uh, false mix. The apis gap is cut. Okay. Picking this up, this is an exposed view. It would be this way, facing the audience. But look, this is what takes place. You grip the cards this way. You have the tab hiding, or hiding the front end of the uh, deck. Now, before I place the cards in, what you do is push and jog the top card, which is a select card, forward, or to the left. As the cards go in, look what happens. The cards go into the case, and the selected card comes out. Mm -hmm. okay? Matches perfect. And it matches perfect. And you close the case, and this goes face down. Now, three quarters of the card is already out. Show your hands empty. Placing the cards on, uh, or the case on the, on the uh, left palm, you pick up, and so long as you keep this in motion, right. they can't see the slip. And you place it high on the heel. Now, in slow mode, since three quarters of the card is already out, all I have to do is push down an inch, the card is already out, and then go in a rotating motion. And it gives the illusion that the card is first <laughs> the deck. It's a nice track. Quickie, you know. Oh, yeah. What's this little track with the four aces? This is the Henry Chris four ace track, right? Cards are laid out. I'm going to make four packets of cards. Like so, like so, like so. Picking up the first packet, I'm going to place the Ace of Spades into the packet. Like so. Second Ace, Ace of Hearts goes on top. Third packet here. Third Ace will cut into the deck. And the last Ace here and into the deck. Remember that? Yes. Okay. Kind of practice that one. Now, by riffling the deck, like so, I can command an ace to reverse itself. But as you can see, that doesn't look like an ace. It's a seven. But don't be alarmed because it's merely my indicator card. It tells me that the first ace is seven cards away. One, two, three, five, six. do it again. If I take the ace and pull it through the deck, strange thing happens, we find the ace of hearts reverses. In order to find the ace of diamonds, I'll spell out the ace of hearts. One card for each letter. A, C, E, O, F, ace of, H, E, A, R, T. That's, that's the ace of diamonds. And last but not least, the last ace is always the most difficult to find. I'll give the deck, I'll sit down for this. Give the deck a shuffle like this. Give the deck a cut. Watch. Go ahead and explain it. Yeah. No. The aces get reversed that time. Yeah. No, it's, that's what I mean. Well, I'll, I will explain okay. that instead of when, when, oh. okay. when you spell out the hearts, you, you came up with the ace of diamonds. Yeah, well, he said. I said. Oh, I'll right. spell yeah. out the ace of hearts. hearts. But to no, get the okay. ace of diamonds. So it's, it's uh, clubs, it's clubs so it's hearts. hearts. Okay. Which is not 
Bridge. Bridge is the Cubs Diamond Saw Space. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Okay, that's the way I remember the right. trick. Mm -hmm. I think Bridge is Cubs Diamond Saw It's Cubs Diamond Saw Space, though. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I played it for years. Okay. No, if you don't want to spell the Ace of Hearts to discover the Ace of Diamonds. Right. Then that's your setup. Mm -hmm. The way you showed me before it was like this. Yeah, I'm saying. Right, right. I okay. Understand. You get a seven spot to the bottom and secretly reverse it. And the way I normally do it, you know, stand up, I do it down here. All you do is bring your hand down Oops, that's it. against the body. Let me, let me, uh, okay. Against the body and do, just do so. Mm -hmm. And the seven reverses, right? Now you shuffle off nine cards, so you, you shuffle in increments of three. So it doesn't look like it's preset, so it's more casual. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? And maintain a break of the block of nine cards. Now break the, parts, uh, the cards into four packets. Here we have nine, here we have a reverse seven, and these don't matter really. Uh, fanning this out, you make a mental count one, two, three, and you insert the ace of spades fourth from the bottom and pull it over this way so it looks like it's way in the middle. Okay? All right. This one you pick up and you place here. This packet with the reverse seven goes directly on top of the ace of hearts. Here you pick up the packet first instead of the ace. As you show the ace, push off one card. And squaring up, you now have a break of two cards on the top. Being very careful that you don't cut into the face-up card, you double cut those to the bottom. Right? So it would be here. Bring the packet over. Let that protrude and do this little flourish, which is very pretty. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the show. And there's a seven. Directly beneath the seven is the ace of hearts. So you square both up as one, calling this a, an indicator card, placing the ace beneath the seven. Should I show it or? That's right. No, that's good. Okay. So you count making sure that you cover the evidence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an ace reversed already. Picking this up, give the deck a riffle. There's the ace of hearts. This you cut. Remove the ace of hearts. You say, in order to find the ace of diamonds, I'll spell out the ace of hearts. Card for each letter, A, C, E, O, F, H E A R T S as the ace of diamonds. Now at this point, the last ace is second from the top. You can disclose it any which way. Do you want me to explain how I did that shuffle? Or? Yes, go ahead. So, so. All right. So as I place these back, I push off two, square them up, double cut. So the end result is the ace of clubs are on the bottom of the deck. Well, we're going to explain this, but... You can show it as you... Uh, okay. On the... the ace is on the bottom, so I split half the deck to the right. And doing this now, and starting the shuffle, I drop the ace. Just, yeah, try and do it slowly. Can't do that. There's the ace. Right. I shuffle everything else above it. I push the cards in like so. This is an exposed view, or a rear view. Since the ace is here, right, you tilt the deck forward, leaving the ace. You see that? That's right, that's good. And then if I move this over slightly and push it down, the relative position of the last ace is here. So you have to envision that mentally. Give the deck a cut. Pick up, now remember, the last ace is in the deck, but it's here in relative position, so that if you post the thumbs where the ace is and the middle finger and you push forward, it rides out. This comes back, 
Turn it over and there's the ancient books. Great. Great. How did it show, all right? Terrific. Yeah, I zoomed in on it and closed everything. Okay. No, very seldom do I see it performed by magicians. It's a beautiful trick. Nice concept. Yeah, smoke later. All right, you've just finished whatever four ace trick. Mm -hmm. Then you go into the matter that everyone has a favorite ace. I have mine. I'm sure that you have yours. So which is your favorite ace? I'll say the ace of spades. Ace of spades. That's a big bullet. Now look, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the ace of spades, the one that you selected. I'm going to sandwich it face down in between the two face-up aces. Fair enough? I'll cut the whole thing into the deck, not thinking what I'm doing. That leaves the ace of clubs, which then will become my ace. The ace of clubs I'll place on the bottom of the deck. Strange as it may seem, if I give the deck one cut, like so, curious thing happens. Do you see it? The ace of spades comes up to the top. The sandwich here in the center, there are two face-up bases with one face-down card. And strangely enough, that's the ace of clubs. Very nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's very easy to do. Yeah, okay, it's really nice. I go right into that. All right. So we'll play it along. It doesn't matter which ace. If they choose a black one, you sandwich it in between the two red ones. If they choose a red one, you sandwich it in between the two sure. black ones. So the ace of spades goes here. Mm -hmm. And you show it, of course. Mm -hmm. Now you get a break under the, under the top ace, and you double cut that to the bottom. So the end result is that you have the ace of hearts, the ace that the spectator selected, and the other ace reversed on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Leaving this one, you call this your favorite ace, and you place that on the bottom. And the reason for that, to cover the reverse card on the bottom. All right. Sideways, for an open view, what you do, the audience would be in front. You pull back on the ace of spades, and you take any amount, and that completes the cycle. Right. That causes, that cut causes the spectator's ace to come up, sandwiching the other one in between the two face-up aces, which is the ace of clubs. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Yeah. Nice, quickie yeah. trick, you Great. know. That's a beautiful. Escaping gas. Yeah. And so forth and so on. All right. In my pocket, I have a ball. I want you to examine the ball. Mm -hmm. nice what I want you to do, look, nothing in my hands. Place the ball and drop it into the cup. Good. You hear it? All right. If I take that ball, obviously it can't be in two places at the same time. If I do this, that ball comes back. You seem shocked. Do it again. Try and contain yourselves. <laughs> Drop it in a little higher. Oh, okay. Well, all right. You, you, you hold it up and you say that's called the high ball. That's Dustin, Dustin Hoffman pattern. Huh? And do this again. Remember, it's not there. Right. There's the ball. Then you repeat this a few more times. And finally, you say, look, if I take that ball, it's not here. And I place it into my pocket. Right? Can you see it? Yeah. Where's the ball? In, in my pocket? In or your pocket. Cup? Well, let me start all over again. Show you a little bit more. If I take the ball and I do this, where would, where would it be? Under the cup. All right, I'll do it one more. You're very perceptive. Look, do it one more time. Where is it now? You really want me to tell you? Or yeah. You it's in your hand. Now, you're right. All right. See? Now, I'll put that away. But had you sat under the cup, you'd have been right, too. Now, by way of variation, <coughs> when introduce, this is the thing. Whiskey goblet. And the silk. And I shall cover the goblet with the silk. And I'm going to place the ball on top. And the object is for me to penetrate that ball right through the silk to land inside the goblet. Would that be pretty if I could do this? All right, here we go. There's a blood body intelligence. Did you see it go? No. Believe it or not. Up. 
There it is. There it is. Oh, son of a gun. Let me put this away. <laughs> Wave your hand over it, and there is the book. That's what that I wanted is, to show you. That is, that is a cube. That's and that's that that's self-working. And then, mm -hmm. of course, yeah. you load. I don't have the loads, you know, mm -hmm. and you load. But right. look, the whole principle being, you must get a goblet. That's you see? Sure. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. So that if I cover this, right. that will pick up. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, right. Now, the, if you don't get the right goblet, or say it's a little shorter, because you use the handkerchief, or a silk, the silk is better. You drape this over, keep this up. Don't throw this in, because then it's too low. It, it, well, you can do this, you know, for effect, and then bring it up and you watch the ball. Okay, now when I cover this, you do this. When I cover it, that's already gone. You say, here is the ball. Now what happens, you say, it's not here, dislodging it, this goes into the pocket, and you get your first load. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. So at this point, I don't, yeah, let's, let's assume this is the load. When you lift this up, you say, there's the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's all right. We and, you do, and you do so. Mm -hmm. Now when you take this and place it into the pocket, you'll acquire yeah, the another. second load. And you say, look, there's one. I can understand that, but I can't figure this one out. Right. And that's the, that's the right. thing. Uh, try to show your hands empty. Take the first coin, place it into the hand. Uh, the second one goes into the hand. Now watch, when I touch, what happens is one travels across. Nothing happens until I touch. No, it's not here, Owen, it's still here. See, now watch. When I touch, that's when it happens. There it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Now, are you familiar with the first part? I guess you are. No, you the click, the click, click pass. pass. Yeah, well, show it anyway, because so. I'm not. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I think if I showed it sideways. Yeah. Up, right. Yeah. So the audience would be there. Get close. Show the hands empty. Okay. Now, when you pick up a coin to make it vanish, always hit it here at the base of the index finger, right there. Not here, not there, but there. Okay? Holding the coin here. Place it. When you cover the coin, and it's out of the angle of vision, this is what you do. And you just let it rest here. When you go to pick up the other coin, that's when you palm. Okay. The There's your classic palm. Now you show the coin, and this is what happens for the click. You open up the left hand, okay? Mm -hmm. Touch thumbs. And this is a pretty flourish. If you get the coin here, this position, by then squeezing, you get that. Okay? Say so nothing happens until you touch. You say, no, no, it's still here. And now I'll do it from the front, the way it should be. There's the coin. When you go to pick it up, touch, there are the two. Now just do the, the vanish for me one time, just while I'm looking in this direction. Just okay. one simple vanish. Uh, explaining it or? No. Just the door. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's the coin. Yeah. There we go. Here's another one. You twi this is called the twister. This is my for, for refraction of light. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you do the same thing. You're placing it here, but you're turning it over this way. Mm -hmm. Now you turn it back and out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Now leave that on, Owen. Or, or shut the thing off. 